One of the things that we frequently want to do with dictionaries, with hashes, is given a key, we want to get the value back. Okay. So if we have a method, it will return a V, our generic V, which is our value. And we're going to have to be given a key associated with that value. Okay. So given a key, how do we get the value back? The way that we do it we take the key, we get its hash code. What do we do next? Make it positive. What do we do next? We mod it on the table size. So this gives us an index in our array, in our, in our array of linked lists. We've got an array of linked lists. Some may be empty, some may have one element, and some may have more than one element. We don't know how many elements are in there, and we don't really care. All we care about is finding the element where the key is the one we're looking for. These other keys are going to be different by definition, especially if our hash does not accept duplicate keys, which is typical of hashes. And so all we're going to do is just iterate We're going to iterate through our linked list. Let's get our hash elements in H array hash value. So this is using the our iterator that we wrote when we wrote our linked list, right? This is why we wrote our iterator. Now what we've got to say is, for this element is the key that you have, the key that we want. For this element is the key that you have, the element that we want. For this element is the key that you have, the one that we want. How do we do that? We use comparable. If comparable. This time what we're comparing is not hash elements. It's not ease, it's key, it's keys. So comparable K. Key dot compare to H E dot key is equal to zero. If that's true, that's the thing we want. If that's the thing we want, we just have to return the value. Return he dot value. If we get to here and we haven't returned, we don't have it, we can return null. So this code has combined a whole bunch of different things that you guys have learned over the last few weeks, right? We've got comparable, we're comparing keys. We've used our iterator, but our iterator that we've used is the one that we wrote in our linked list. So the reason that we struggled to write the iterator in assignment one is so we can use it in assignment two in our linked list. And we've got our hash code, which is giving us constant time, big O of one, access to data in our linked list by basically having an array of a bunch of different linked lists. So we have constant time add, constant time find, and constant time remove of any piece of data, and we can store as many pieces of data as we want in a linked list. Oh, sorry, in a hash. 